Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our next instalment of Storytime with us. Today we are reading Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis. Yeah. Alan's Big Scary Teeth. <laughs> Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It's what he did best. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big, scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, grrr, he'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scary. Alan went, snap, snap, and grrr, grrr. He said things like, I'm Big Scary Alan. Fear my razor sharp teeth. <sighs> he made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech in terrible terror. <gasps> snap, snap. Grrr. Eek. Mwahaha. I love being scary, laughed Alan. After a long day of scaring <coughs> the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp, relax, finish the crossword in the jungle times, and <coughs> take out his false teeth. <gasps> Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, sweet teeth. Sweet dreams, my scary snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. <sighs> Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. <clears throat> Phew! That was close, thought Barry. Just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush, with a very familiar snap, snap. Oh, no. Oh, oh. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth, my teeth, where were my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. He could still be scary without them. He decided to head to the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads. The monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech. With laughter, <laughs> Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. Snap, snap, goo. All the monkeys and frogs are laughing. <laughs> Alan slunk back into the swamp. He had been, he had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he'd ever known. What would Alan do now? Oh, there's his teeth on the floor. Poor Alan began to cry. Just a bit at first. But then the tears kept coming. He howled and he yowled and more than all the jungle babies put together. He could not stop crying until next morning all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said the parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. And so every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing his big, scary teeth, <gasps> Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser, and Alan the dentist. Look at him brushing the frog's teeth. <laughs> But every night, he became Alan, 
the big scary storyteller thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales Whoa! I love being scary, laughed Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Grr. Oh, that was a good one. Grr. Did you like that one? Well, thank you for joining us, and I uh, hope you join us next time for our next instalment and our next story. Bye. Which story are you do next? I don't know. Let, let people decide, yeah? Say bye.